Welcome back, everybody. Here back for what might be the end here of Firewatch. Oh, the wave receiver is going off. The receiver just picked something up. It's like a signal. It's going beep beep. Ah, uh, be? well, there's a tracking device here. I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. Tracking device. Who else you are they following? They want it back. Who? A fifth of Major Bueno Tequila from the creek. Are you drunk? No! I am getting drunk! Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is, I could stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is Southwest, huh? Wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Ay ay ay. So we're going down I'll to the five mile. Alone with whatever these thoughts are. Creek. So who knows what we're going to find at the end of... Oh, this way. Find at the end of this spoopy adventure. Because I don't know. I'm not really looking forward to being brutally attacked. Um, I have a feeling that's probably what's going to happen. Oh, are we going to this wheel? thing, because that'd be kind of cool. Did I go the wrong way again? See, that's the problem, too. There's so many paths that I just can't pick the right one, apparently. And bam! Smack! Oh! Hi there. What? Ah. Examine the strange bag. Oh. There's a key. For cave. Oh, for the cave! See, I, I found some sort of supply bag. Light camping gear, some clothes. Some oh, jeez. It was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. Where's that cave at? You're okay? It's not a trap or oh, anything? Oh, court. The cave yeah, is up there. Fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. And I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire hasn't spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I'm not in my tower. Uh-oh. You're looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. Oh, jeez. It's not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Need to figure out how to get back home. We're gonna beat some buddy's skull in, is what it sounds like. But that's scary. It's all can be. Alright. Like I said, I just need this map to be open all the time. So we're gonna burn our place down the same as they're starting fires everywhere else. But what's going on here? Hello. 
Hello? Is anyone up there? I'm gonna beat you up. This isn't gonna be good. What? Um. Great. I don't see anyone up here. He was just there. What do you do? Fly? Is he above on the ceiling? Here we go. Left the cassette player taped to my damn door. Uh, I don't even know what to say to that. It's a tape of us talking down at the site. Sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No! V, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? Uh, well, we just got framed is what that sounds like. Um, sounds like they're using our words against us out of context and started this fire. I don't know why. Um, It's going to be okay. We haven't done anything wrong. Someone claiming to be Henry in Two Forks called a lookout in another sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, oh. I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. That's where I'm going. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Oh boy. You know what they say about them handcuffs? I don't know. We just, we have to stick together. Okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls, to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just... We gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. Makes it sound like he's done this before. Guilty. I didn't. No way. They're just, they're trying to pit us against each other. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's not gonna happen, though. Thanks Here's the me. cave. Let's see what's in here. Use key. Knock, knock. Daddy's home. Uh Jesus, this is a big cave. Excuse you? Shafts of light. Squeeze through. We can do this. How did someone set all of this up for us? What's the truth? So many questions. Will we get out? Will we die? Will we be framed? Will we be innocent? It's freezing in here. Did I just hear a sneeze? Is 
anybody down there? Good. A shoe. Hello? Hello? Why is it getting dark? I have a flashlight! Oh, I hate the sound of... brush. It makes it sound... oh. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So you, so you didn't find anything? No. Th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Mm. Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Folder that once held school papers, presumably defaced by Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. Um, Brian was doing. Brian Goodwin, science fair. A science fair project about bouncing radio waves off of a meteor shower. Hey, remember that pack I found? To get boards, rope, rocks, tools. Back on your second day? Yeah. I found a plan Brian drew about how he was going to get it back. Oh, I'm sure it was quite elaborate. I mean, he was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. There's a busted old toy out here, some sort of electronic game. Yeah? I like Pong. Everybody likes Pong. My name is Brian, climbing... Mail address, North Platte, Nebraska. If you tell me your name and address, I will give you a reward for this. Huh. My name is Ryan Goodness. If you or Goodwin, sorry. If you find this note, it could, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors. I hope. Could you do me a favor and please return them to Brian Goodwin in the mail? My address. If you tell me your name and address, I'll give you a reward. You're probably wondering why I left these here. They're my dad's, and I don't want him to lose them, but I don't want to do any more climbing on this trip, so I thought I should pretend to lose them, but if you help me get them back, everyone will be happy. Thank you for your time. Oh, wait, there was a thank you, Ranger. Brian, P.S. The reward will be good. Okay. Hmm. 300 watts. Too high. Past maximum. Interesting. Not conventional. Don't know. There's a ham radio schematic here, something Brian was working on. Yeah, uh, I think that was the one thing Ned did do with him. You know, tinkering on stuff like that. Wizards and Wyverns. Okay, so this is a uh, an RPG type game, I'm assuming. Ah, oh, here's my anchors. Ta-da! Excuse you? What is flapping? Oh, that's me. Dinosaur. Rawr. Alright. Drop. I need to actually pick up things that... Bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Huh. Where did we come out of that cave at? Here? I forgot already. Up yonder? So, something I never told you. Or anyone about Brian. In regards to him being out here against the rules. Where I, am I supposed to go? Uh, they almost got busted. 
Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... <sighs> I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied, and just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was gonna bring him back to. Not that it ended up mattering. There we go. So we are over here. What do you think is in there? I don't know, really. I mean, we gotta find out. What do you think? Whatever it is, they don't want you telling anyone about. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? <laughs> a, a hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Honestly, I just... I just want to know. I want to know what is worth doing everything that's been done to us. Yeah, me too. And not going to jail would be a nice kicker. I want to go get that other cash in case there's some sort of, um, what do I want to say here? In case there is some sort of reward. What is this? And then I will go back. So in one moment here, I'll go explore that cache and come back. Be right back. Oh, uh, also. All right. Girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill him. Well, good. I'm glad she thinks we didn't kill him. I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. I think we'd be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. You're probably right. Alright, here's the cave again. But from the other side... Now what's gonna happen? Why is it all dark in here? This is even worse than the first time. Wow. What? I think... I don't know. Let's do it. Let's do it. Can we... Aha! We'll go explore what's in the deeper part. And hope that we don't fall to our deaths. These are light. I mean, what do we need a rope for? That's just to get back out. We don't need to get back out. We're just gonna get stuck down here forever. Any other crevices? Oh, long drop. Okay. We're not going to be able to get back out without the ropes, so, uh... I don't know what the uh, meaning of this is. But it's getting pretty intense. Oh, no. I don't like this ending. Ah, oh, shit. 
This guy's shoe. Oh god. You're Brian Goodwin. I don't want to step over his body. But we'll do it, I guess. Crypto Castle. You fell. Your stuff gave out. Or was he pushed? Hmm. Well, yeah, I'm gonna report the body. I'm not gonna leave it there for all eternity. Gotta give his parents or his relatives some kind of closure. And let them know that, you know, maybe they thought he passed away from other causes and now, uh, this gives him a little closure, letting him know he, you know, wasn't murdered or isn't out roaming somewhere alive and unable to contact him. Yeah, he's passed away and can't reach them, but you know, at least this is something they can grieve uh, again um, and uh, know that you know, not wonder anymore every night before they go to bed if uh, he's still alive or not or. There's another entrance? This is where we came in. This is where... Boom! I want to go figure out what the other part was. Why, why was it beeping on the other area? Oh, I thought that smoke and I thought we were going to die. Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. Hey, you, um, might want to take a seat. I've been sitting this entire time. I'm almost always sitting. What's... what's wrong? The only thing in the cave was a body. A body? God, what a mess. Delilah. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. Mm hmm I don't know, maybe it was Ned. If not him directly, he put enough stupid fucking know-how in his head to get him killed. Son of a bitch. Yeah. What do we do now, D? I mean, are you okay? No, I'm not. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... there's... there's nothing to say. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Oh. Well, all right. I wonder what other secrets and plots are about to unfold. Packing up. Pack up belongings. Gotta take the whiskey. What is that? Oh. Everything's... See that plane? No, I didn't uh, see it. No, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's going to be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the flapjack fire or the site fire or...? Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? About what? About how all this stuff is connected. The surveillance, the Goodwins, Brian's death. Look, I don't know what to say, okay? It's like, it's like the universe cooked up the cruelest thing to have happen. Does it connect to everything else? I don't know. I don't know if I even want to. Of course you do. There, there's gotta be a reason. Does there? 
Maybe. Oh. So. Not. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Well, fuck. Uh, for starters, I guess you could find the source of that signal. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. We don't know what it is. It could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. Alright, look. If, if something happens... I'll remember you. Huh. Oh, well, that's nice. Oh great, that's ominous. Someone left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know it's for you? <laughs> they wrote my name on it. it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Yeah, hi Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. Ned. We're causing each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go see Ned. got a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave, for Croc's sake. I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell, and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up, and Delilah, she's a... She's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago, I stopped worrying about you finding anything out. And that's right when everything went shit house with you two. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about having kids. All right? Nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down the lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just... He just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions, and having to get him put in the ground, and... I didn't see the point. Don't he didn't hear my spiel. Sorry about your wife. Guilty. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us, just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking son. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. He held on to some of Brian's things. His wizards and wyverns. Yeah, well, I'm sure he found it riveting. He... God. What? Nothing, just some of Brian's stuff. Brian was a nice looking kid. Yeah. On the teens campsite? Okay. Anything else we need? I mean. He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. 
This boombox looks familiar. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I don't know what you want me to say. We're in the middle of a fire that is at 22,000 acres and growing fast. It's going to burn all of this up. Well, take a picture if you're so keen to remember it. You're not? I don't know. Nice. I don't know. He had quite the view. So that was him and his beer cans. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. He could see my lookout. All right, am I supposed to just go? Now, I think I am. I think I am. Teen. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll go back then. I presume this is still not a way down. Yep, still not a way down. So I'll go back the way I came. The only thing I'm a little bit disappointed in is the slowness of this ending. Because um, I would really like to not have to walk back all these places, but. I will skip those pieces for you. Relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Lila, I, I think it was an accident. And I don't think... Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to climb and do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. And how'd that turn out, Henry? I'm sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. helicopter? Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, he's coming. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think I'm gonna go with them. D. What if they don't come back for me? They'll come back. That's their job. Just what if we missed something about... Uh, something. I don't know. Henry, you're tired. There's nothing big going on. They'll come back for you. Just... wait. I'm gonna go. Okay. If you have to. What I do if I couldn't have you for life? No, I am going nowhere. I am going nowhere. I am going nowhere without you, without you now. 
Hey, I'm at the evac spot near the ravine. Delilah, are you there? Delilah? In the blink of an eye, there you were and took a hold of me. Some would say that I found everything that I would ever need. Cause it's you, you're the one, and I'm longing for you. Hello? Is anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. I'm back at the staging area near the trailhead. I think I see your truck. Red? Colorado plates? Yeah. It's a piece of shit. Hey, that's a man's pickup you're talking about. I think there might be a raccoon living in it. Make sure he's comfy, I guess. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, oh, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Uh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you? <laughs> Alright, sure. Um, maybe... Maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Um, just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Well, I just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Okay. So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I, um... Yeah. You gotta go see her. Yeah, sure. Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. You're right. I mean, I think you're right. Good. When I get back, maybe I could, um... We shouldn't focus on this summer. Next year we'll roll around, and then the year after that, and then it's just a... I don't know. My Aunt Judy called it a pause in the hallway of time. <laughs> Did your Aunt Judy smoke a lot of pot? Yeah. Well, you should try to take her advice, too. Yeah, we'll see. There's the helicopter. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. Bye, Delilah. I mean it. Good luck. Yeah. Bye, Hank. Hank? My name is Henry.
but I think that's supposed to be part of the joke. Now we're going to miss our chopper and they're going to leave without us. Or we're going to get down there and Ned's going to be there and he's going to clock us and we're going to die and... Wait! It's going to come out of that outhouse. No, he didn't come out of the outhouse. The pilot is Ned. I'm going home. We're going home! And now, I'll let it play. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you have enjoyed the uh, Firewatch series and the month of May with the uh, content. Enjoy the co uh, credits if you wish to watch those roll out and uh, watch a little more about this. Like I said, I'll just let it roll out and uh, enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you continue to watch. Have a great day.